Hello and welcome to a new vlog. This time I'm taking you with me on a winter trip and we are going to Austria. Skiing, snowboarding, winter hiking, everything. Of course, relaxing and eating as well. Actually, I have to excuse myself up front. I totally forgot to record any videos of me speaking on this trip. So that's why I'm doing this voice over. I don't know what happened. But I think it's just so much better to have some kind of um, some kind of voice on here. So let me know what you think. So this was our apartment and it was a very cute apartment in a complex of I think three, four, five apartments that you can book. And it had the best view. I think all of the apartments have amazing mountain views. Definitely our apartment had this very, very nice view. Plus, you will see right now a very special extra, my favorite, the jacuzzi and the sauna, which you can book and have it all to yourself. So you can have specific time slots and then you're alone in the whirlpool and in the sauna, which is just perfect after a long day of activities, in my opinion. So we arrived in the evening and this is already the next morning and I'm getting ready for a day of winter hiking activities. That's why my outfit is not probably the typical winter sports look you would expect. <laughs> you can imagine how my parents uh, were kind of not laughing but surprised about my outfit choice. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I did bring uh, a lot of very functional clothes but then again I also packed some fancy accessories which made it pretty easy to get dressed up. So we took the car and then went our first hike and you can see the weather was just amazing. It was so sunny, so nice. The nature was amazing. I can definitely recommend uh, going into this region if you're thinking about it. The next day it was finally time for snowboarding. Oh my god, I was so excited because the last time I've been snowboarding is probably 18 years ago. The last time I went was, I don't know, I was 14, 15, something. So it was quite a while ago. So I was super, super excited and also a bit curious if I still have some skills. I mean, I never was a professional, definitely not. But I was just, yeah, curious to see if I still can make it down uh, the hills. And actually, surprise, yes. <laughs> also, I didn't break anything, so everything was fine. No injuries happened. And I also, I felt really, really good just trying this again. But obviously, it's definitely a big workout. So at the end of the day, I was just happy to do it again. But I was also, in my mind, I already knew I cannot do this every day because also definitely I don't want to get injured. And I think... If you overestimate your power and your um, strength of the body, this is when stuff happens. So yeah, we were taking it slow, of course, also having a break here and there, drinking a coffee and having some nice food. I was enjoying it a lot and definitely it showed me again that I would love to do more winter sports again and also maybe fresh up my skills, have a course next time, have a teacher next time, plus maybe start skiing because yeah, I learned snowboarding back then but I never even tried skiing and I think it could also be cool. 
but who knows let me know in the comments if you have any tips i'm definitely curious to find out and also in general i think it was a very nice region to do it because it's a lot of blue slopes so it was easy slopes to get down i really enjoyed that and you always had the best views let me know what you think and also if you have a different region that is perfect for having good views and being a beginner or intermediate Here we are in the next day, as you can imagine, my body was aching a lot <laughs> after a lot of activity from the snowboarding. So we decided to just take a walk or yeah, just a little hike. Also, it was a bit cloudy in the morning. We were not sure where the weather is going. So we did that and had some nice lunch and a little drink, as you can see. <laughs> and uh, then in the afternoon, it got so much more better. It got much sunnier and so we enjoyed the sun. And yeah, just had another walk around the town and also did some little shopping and souvenir shopping here and there. And that was it. The next day it was a very very slow start um, actually because you can see it was raining it was raining so so much so of course we were a bit sad that the weather took such a turn so we were thinking what to do and took the car and drove uh, from Austria over to Germany to Oberstdorf okay. and actually we went to this museum which was uh, kind of funny it had a lot of old very historic skiing uh, history things I would say so yeah, uh, it's definitely worth a visit, it was very cute. But also, of course, we then did a little bit of shopping, bought some postcards and had a bit of lunch, dinner, everything. And of course, I did my little fit check. <laughs> and yeah, that was it actually. So a very short and chill day. next day's activity was cross-country skiing i think i did it also probably 15 years ago definitely a while ago so here we are again not showing off my best technique but i think in the end it's just about doing the effort it was a nice workout also the view it was very nice it was super foggy and the view was not the best but also i really like this kind of mystical atmosphere somehow it was again a very mixed day so in the morning we did the cross country skiing then the lunch and then my mom and me went again for a walk because we just thought maybe a lighter activity in the afternoon just to see again where the weather goes but yeah it stayed this foggy cloudy atmosphere but also very very cute and yeah here you can see me doing a little snow angel <laughs> or trying to And on the last day, we were lucky again. The sun was shining. Here you can see me in my cute pajamas. I wanted to show you <laughs> and enjoying my first coffee on the balcony. So it was such a great start into the day and also super, super happy that we enjoyed the sun again on our last day. So we had a nice breakfast and then went off to the mountain again. So we went up to the Ethan and decided to have one of the very famous popular hikes up there because you can also go hiking up there and it's definitely worth it even though you have to still pay for the ticket to go up and down of course even as a pedestrian but it was so cool because with the sun and all of the snow around the landscape it just reminded me of the moon it was just magical 
an absolute stunning like you can see how many videos i took how much i was smiling there how much i was enjoying this running around in my little uh, suit <laughs> i don't know but it was super super cute So even if you don't enjoy snowboarding or skiing, I think winter sports or like doing a winter trip to Austria, I would definitely recommend because I think there's an activity for everyone to do. I forgot how much I like snow, how much I like winter sports, I guess. I think it's such a change of scenery. It's so different than having snow in Berlin. Like you cannot compare uh, snow in this kind of mountain area than being in a big city and having snow. It's so, so unique and so nice. <laughs> 